بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بع السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is video number four for those who love Quran and don't have time to go to the teacher to teach him or her how to read Quran but right now inshallah to make it easy for everyone your phone is your teacher and today we are going to uh, inshallah practice from the Quran that we already learned from video number one number two and number three so now number four in number four inshallah we uh, a little bit move on until uh, to know some uh, like uh, inshallah some rule uh, that to know which one we should read long which one we should read short and today we going to take one word that uh, inshallah is over here i point over here uh, they call maddun 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 this word what is this word mean if you go to the dictionary uh, uh, arabic translate to english you will see you know the word maddun when they say jim jim is over here is singular one and jim in plural mudud so one mat and many mat okay that's plural so when you see the translation they have uh, like this word this word and also reach of the sign also read of the sign but we use this word extension so mat mean extension you extend it or easy easy way to say to make it long okay that's uh, easy to say it to make it long when you read and you have mud you read it long okay mud uh question what is mud how do you know mud okay the answer is over here okay there are two ways of mud number one they call uh, mud asli mud asli asli mean original 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 and number two they call i point over here mat far'i far'i is branch branch like you have three the the root of the tree or the uh, uh, the tree they call asli and the branch of the tree they call far'i so now that's we take today inshallah go to mat asli so now it's mat we know what is mat mean right can you tell me what is mat mean what is mud mean in English? Extension, right? You extend it, you extend it, make it long. Okay. Now, now we already learned this one alil. The sound alil, you know, before alil have a. Ah. Before alil, you have a. Ah. We learn it. When you come back to this Quran, you see over here. This alil. Before alil, you have a. Ah. This alif you not count because alif it have this sign not count. This alif before alif you have a. So before alif you have a. This alif they call alif for mat the letter for mat or mat letters mat letter. Okay. So number one you have alif. Number two you have vowel that have u come before vow when you have vow you have u come before vow that's man asli this man asli number three number three when you have ya and you have e come before ya that call mat asli remember okay now try to remember before alif you have a before vow you have u before ya you have e question if do you have any anything that before ya not u before uh, before ya not e before vow not u yes the answer is yes over here you see before vow you have a before ya you have a before vow you have a before ya you have a in this case they call mad 
lim lim remember okay before vow or ya you have a ah, this a ah, over here let's see a ah. mat lim 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 just memorize mat lim mat lim you have mat mat you have mat so mat mat over here and that's how i i memorize it you have mat over here mat have two usli and lim usli and lim what is uh, different between usli and lim mat usli when you have a lim before a lim you have a uh, you have vowel before vowel you have u when you have ya before ya you have e what is mat lim mat lim mat lim you do like that okay that's how you memorize how i memorize and make me to memorize very fast and stuck in in my brain very long time that's how i memorize it so you should try that inshallah before vowel you have before yeah you have a uh, when before well before yeah you have a uh, that's called mad lean 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 on lean on lean on so mad 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 uh, original we read mad tun mad tun right lean 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 on lean on okay uh, when i ask you what is the difference between uh, mad lean and mad asli let uh, try over here try over here what is mad over here you have vow right vow is the letter for mad but the question what mud over here uh, can you answer it say it before vow you have u mud asli got it i think you got it this one okay let's go uh, to another one before a liu you have a ah, mud what can you tell me fast fast okay mud asli uh, try to find some more uh that's yeah over here right when you have yeah like this call mat the letter for mat before yeah you have e mat what asli asli okay asli just try to find over here <laughs> over here well bef that's yeah yeah is mat right before yeah you have ah what mat over here can you tell me before yeah you have a ah. before yeah you have a ah, is mud lean mud lean mud lean mud lean what is the mud over here this one not mud remember this one is not mud you know why because you have a ah on top of vowel and this one also a leaf this a leaf not mud not a leaf for mud before because on a leaf you have a ah, you have hamza a leaf that have hamza on top or hamza under that's not for mud the mud is when you have a leaf and yet don't have any sign on top you have a leaf no sign on top this vowel not a mud you see over here ya yeah, but sukun on top if you have ya yeah, but not sukun on top it's not uh, not mud so inshallah i hope that uh, we got mud how many mud we got mud lean and mud asli the question how you did uh, how long mud lean or how long mud asli both of them read long too to what to haraka in arab in arabic they call harakatan harakatan mean two uh two uh two you sh two shake you shake your hand two time right like two second shake your hand two time got it inshallah how many just uh, one more minute or two more minutes inshallah uh, we want to practice today for those who want to practice with me what sign is this how do you you call this one how do you read this one oh right what sign is this sukun right what does sukun mean? Why you have sukun over here? So this means to connect. You have to connect this to this, right? What is this for? This is for letter. When you see letter like this, call lam, lam. Even though come like this, lam, lam. See? Lam. You see? Connect. Lam, lam. That's lam. The same thing. Like this, like this. This one stay at the end or stay alone like this. When you connect to something like this like this or when you connect to two lam like this that's called lam in english equal l l like a like a long uh, larry 
uh, and extra okay so this is cough cough you have two dot on top but you have this head remember yesterday or oh, mm, uh, the the last video we said two dot under yeah and two dot on top is uh ta. try to find out two dot on top which one two dot two dot on top try to cannot find over here but i can find over here two dot on top okay two dot on top that two dot under yeah but over here two dot but have this head that's golf 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 this one in english not easy because uh, english english word not really have this letter english word they have this one they have calf calf like k k like calf k like king kingdom king that's k but this letter in english they not really use this one but most of the people they use the the, the letter q q like quran quran that's why when you see people they write the word quran some uh, some translation they use the uh, they use the letter k and some people they use letter majority people they use letter q q they use quran quran so the sound q when you not teach per, uh, that person to read to pronounce it sometimes they're not really pronounce it right so that's why some letter in uh, some arabic letter they don't have in uh, english letter so over here of of original they can be read of of and lamb so of uku of uku connect to lamb kul 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 like you have q and u u and you have l kul this one ha ha and this one ha in english they don't have the word to make different from this ha and this ha that's why you need to learn uh, arabic you cannot just learn english word and uh, to read quran that's not perfect you have to learn Arabic to read perfectly of the Quran. So this one ha light, this one ha heavy. You read it in, like inside. This one outside ha ha ha. This one ha 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 uhu vau rai vau awa ha uhu vau awa. You have this over here, this is the guy that we just learned from three or number three, right? This guy. So you connect this guy, vow awa to lam. You skip this. This alif, when this alif stay in the beginning, you use it. But when you stay in the middle like this, you skip it. So that's why the sign tell you that if you see alif that have this sign, when you have something before and you want to connect, you skip it away. But when uh, this one is uh, in the beginning like this so it's the beginning right so you have to use how do you use it you use a ah, allah allah a ah, okay okay so now you have this one vow a ah, and you have this guy so you have to connect it val la you read lam again who val la but allah the word allah if you have a ah on top of uh, this one in Arabic they call Haruful Jalala. The word, uh, the name of our God is Allah. That's why the the Haruful Jalala we not read La, we read A. Oh. The sound not like A. Ah. This one's original sound is A, ah. but over here we not read A, ah. we read A, 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 La, La, not La. Okay. Who will who? Wallahu a ha tun. A ha tun. Got it? So when you really uh, read it, you say, Ul hu wallahu a had. Ul hu wallahu a had. Tell when you end it. You end like sukun. You not read this one. You read ahad. Like you have this sukun. This one. You have this sign. 
on top of dal when you stop it. That's how Arabic works. When you stop, you say like like this. You have sukun at the end. That when you stop. Okay, in this video, uh, 15 minutes very long already. So I hope that in this video, what we learn? Mat, right? Mat. Remember, what is the mat mean? Extension, right? Extension, extension to make it long. And there are two types of mat that we learned today. Number one, mat asli. Number two, mat lean. How do you know mat asli? How do you know mat lean? Mat asli, when you have a liu, come after a, vow come after u, a ya come after e. Mat lean, vow come after a, ya come after a. I hope. Inshallah, in this video, video number four. Uh, we are uh, go deeper and deeper and we go into practice the Quran more and more and this phone your teacher will teach you know how to read Quran and when you really practice it inshallah you will know how to read Quran by yourself you don't need a teacher go to another teacher but when you already know how to read you must or you should go to someone uh, to listen to your recitation, uh, you write uh, your pronunciation right or wrong, complete or not, inshallah, you can contact me and you can read for me, I can listen to you sometime, inshallah. Wa billahi tawfiq, wal hidayah, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, see you at uh, video number 5, inshallah, wassalam.